Okay, everyone, welcome to the Chicago video. I might pair this with Madison and Wisconsin, depending on how much filming I get done. So I just left IU. I have a four hour drive to Chicago, but it's across time zones. So I'm at least optimistic that it's not gonna be too late in the day when I get there. Um, in Chicago, I have a couple parks. I wanna get some pizza because obviously, I mean, it's Chicago, why not? All right, what's up guys? I made it to Chicago. Um, I had a different fit planned, but I got lazy. So we have the gray shirt, cargos, bag. Yeah, I'm walking to the train right now. I parked over there, so hopefully it'll be okay. Okay guys, I'm in Chicago. I'm walking to Millennium Park right now and I'm gonna get situated. <laughs> guys, they locked up the beam. They're doing construction in a plaza nearby or something, so it's a safety hazard. Um, but I got that video, so. Okay guys, also, story time. So, the transit, machines like it's tap today and i don't have tap today but i had a 20 and they also don't have change for 20s so i was like talking to the guy i first talked to the teller because i was like confused on how to do it and then i went back to the machine and then i realized i couldn't and i was like do you have change for a 20 and he was like you know what here and he just let me in so i got a free train ride much appreciated all right guys here's the full fit check um shoes are from nike pants are old navy top is thrifted this is airy thanks Guys, I'm at the Riverwalk, praying that Connor Bedard decided to go for a stroll and I'll bump into him here. Please, Lord. Um, Chicago's pretty cool. I really like it. So. Alright, I just made it back to the car. I have my pizza. I have my car. So, it's been a long ass day, and I still have an hour to drive to Cracker Barrel. So, yeah, I'm gonna probably change and then hit the road. Okay, I just changed into my pajamas. I got my overnight bag ready down there and I ate half the pizza and I'm gonna drive now. It's about an hour, so yeah. I can't wait to sleep. Okay, good morning everyone. Sorry it's kind of dark, but you know, it happens when you're in a truck. It has been raining all morning long. So I've been trying to take a slow get ready in case it slows down, but it hasn't. So I don't mind the rain at all. I can do my morning movement in the rain too, but the problem is I can't get to my clothes or any of that other stuff because it would get all soaked. So I think I'm going to just head to morning movement, try to get that done and then see where we're at. And if I can't get to my clothes, I have some up here, but hopefully I can. Anyways, on the agenda today is Milwaukee and Madison. So yeah. All right, so I'm in the car now and I have all my stuff and whatnot. I still didn't get my clothes for the day, which is fine because I don't need them for morning movement. So yeah, it's been a really slow start. It's 10 o'clock right now, so my bad. Usually I'm up and moving at like eight. So we're just easing into things, um, but yeah. So I'm gonna head to the park now. Hopefully there's a pavilion that I can eat, meditate and do, well, I already did meditation, but I'll do five minutes more and do yoga there. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for my walk. We'll see. All right, everyone, fit check time. Sponsored by what I already had out in my bed or truck. So first, shoes and ankle monitor. 
then my sleep shorts. Under that, I have a sports bra, which I don't remember where it's from. Uh, my hoodie from one of my camps and this jacket from REI. Okay, perfect. All right, here's the real fit check. Shoes are Nike courts. Jeans are from Cotton On, they're pink low rise jeans. Um, top sweaters from Old Navy. And I didn't take out a bra, so sports bra again. I think it's also from Old Navy actually, but I might switch because it looks a little silly, but yeah. Okay, I just got to the Harley Davidson Museum. I got so lucky with my parking. Somebody had just pulled out, so I snatched up. So let's go. All right, I just finished in the museum, but I'm not feeling too well, so I'm having a cheese stick, and I'm drinking some water, and then I'm gonna go walk by the canal before I head out to see a lighthouse, so. Okay, everyone, I'm making lunch. I'm doing half PB&J, half Nutella, so yeah. Lunch time, here's my half PB&J, half Nutella sandwich, yum. Okay, hello everyone. I'm in Wisconsin and I have literally never been that low on gas in my fucking life. That was insane. I was so scared the entire time, but it's filling up now. It's 4099 per gallon, so that's not bad. Okay, I just finished at the garden. I took my camera and got some good photos, so yay. Okay, just finished some evening meditation and now I'm just kind of lying down, hanging out by the water, waiting for it to be bedtime. Okay, everyone, I'm at the sleep spot. It is 8.30 right now. Um, and I'm about to eat my dinner, which I kind of have a lazy one tonight because I'm not super hungry. So I'm having veggie straws, two cheese sticks, a cup of hot chocolate, but it's gonna be warm, so warm chocolate. And then coconut juice and a Milano, so yeah. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, I just woke up. It's actually really warm in here, but it's because I'm in the sunlight. So yeah, um, let me post that. Okay, so on the agenda today, morning movement, oil change, park, and some other stuff. I think I'm gonna make it to South Dakota. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. I might make it all the way through Minnesota. We'll see. Okay, hey guys, I'm at the park. I got my solar panels charging. Um, this one is low key weird because it's in the middle of like a huge neighborhood. And there's no parking, so I had to park on the street, which is like awkward, but it'll be fine. Just finished at the park, but while I was there, this little boy like ran up to me and he had his little brewer's shirt on. It was so cute. And he just, I don't know, he said like, hi. And then he was, he, he said he liked my bracelets. And he like petted my arm, he went like that. I was like, okay, but it was so cute. Great way to start. Mm. Okay, hey guys, I just got the oil change and now I am leaving Madison, heading out to Wisconsin Dells. Um, I have a, I like planned a very big day, so I don't know if I'm going to get to everything today, especially because a lot of them are hikes in the woods, so if it gets really late and I still have a hike to do and it's dark out, I don't know, but since I'm getting further out west, sleeping options are limited, so I might have to, so we'll see, but it is 11.15 now, I, uh, I should be at the first one by 12, I'll try to hang out there for an hour, jump to the next one. Okay, hello everyone. I'm still on my way to the state park, but I'm currently stopped in line waiting for the ferry to come pick up the cars. Um, 
because I chose the scenic route. There was two routes I could have taken. One was just straight highways. And then there was a second one that was like less mileage. So I was like, you know what, why not? We'll take that one. I'm so happy I did. It took me through like a ton of Wisconsin farms and stuff. And now I get to take a car ferry across the Wisconsin River or Wisconsin Lake or something. So yeah. Okay, I'm at the Ice Age National Scenic Trail, and I'm gonna do, I think, two miles before going to the next one, depending on time, so. Okay, guys, I'm at my next trail. This one's a little longer and more wood, so I have my boots on, and I put a hat on too, so. Yeah, it's called Chapel Gorge Trail. Really hyped. Okay, hey guys, I made it to the water. Um, I'm having half of my lunch, which is a coconut water and a protein bar. So, yeah. Okay, I just finished the hike, but I'm so excited right now. So I didn't mention it earlier, but on the way in, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? It's Monday, damn, you know, Duncan is running the, uh, you get a free coffee every Monday with purchase. And I was like, damn, I'd really go for coffee. Wish there was a Duncan. I take a turn, boom, Duncan right there. So I'm gonna head to the Duncan, <laughs> get myself a coffee and have probably some hash browns as the rest of my lunch. And then I'm gonna head out to the next thing, so yeah. Okay, Duncan Hall. So for $1.17, I got hash browns and a medium iced pumpkin coffee with oat milk and cold foam. Literally all for a dollar. So I think this is justified. Okay, hello everyone. Um, quick little mental health chat. So I was just stuck in traffic for the past like 30 minutes or so and you know, if this was like a month ago, I would have just been absolutely pissed. I would have been so angry. I would have been staring at my ETA going up. I would have been like mad at all the cars around me for absolutely no reason. But the entire time I just, I was listening to a podcast at first, then I was just listening to some of my music, jamming out. I, like I had fun with it and I was just appreciating the nice sunny weather because I got nice and toasty and it felt really good just to sit in the sun for a little and not have to pay attention to the road. So I just wanted to mention that little evolution moment. So yeah, I, it's something I've always been working on. I'm a naturally very angry person and I'm trying my best to fix that. And that was just one of the examples of my growth in that area. So we felt like sharing. Yeah, I'm on my way to, uh, oh, Grandad Bluff in La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's right on the border of Wisconsin and Minnesota, so it's right there. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna do some work up at the top of the bluff, which should be a pretty cool view. And then I will be um, getting some ice cream and going to bed because you can't leave Wisconsin without having any dairy products. All right, I'll see you there. All right, I just got to Grandad Bluff. The drive up here was so gorgeous. I have my laptop in my bag and I'm gonna try to do some work up here, but first I wanna explore. I might bring out the solar panels too. Oh my God. All right, hello everyone. I'm at the trailhead. I'm doing War Eagle at Grandad's Bluff. Um, it is the most difficult trail here, um, but I didn't hike any of the others like I probably should have, so I don't know what that constitutes. I mean, we are in Wisconsin, so it's not like I'm hiking the Tetons right now. So I'm hoping it's gonna be chill. I think it's gonna be around three miles because I'm doing a mix of trails instead of just one all the way through since there's no direct like lead point back to my starting point, so yeah. The uphill version of my trek right now. It's a blue, so shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see. Um, it's still pretty early in my hiking season, so yeah.
guys i just hiked out to like the farthest point possible and i'm literally scared just sitting here and i'm holding this rock and fully sitting down look at that it's fucking crazy but guys i'm so scared yet so amazed at the same time this is awesome Okay, I'm walking back to the car right now, but game plan for tonight. So it is about 6.45 right now. I'm gonna go get my car, park it at the top, and then I'm going to eat dinner and do a little bit of work. And then I'm hitting up the ice cream parlor, which closes at nine. So I gotta make it there before then. And then after the ice cream parlor, it is a two hour drive to my sleep spot, which is not ideal, but it's okay. So it's gonna be a little bit of a late night, but that's fine, that's a-okay. Okay, so I went to the car, got my dinner stuff, came back, watched the sunset as I eat dinner, and I was gonna do my journal entry now, but my pen died, which is really upsetting because it's my favorite pen. Um, and now I don't. And now I don't have any pens. So. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna go get ice cream now. Okay, I just parked. It's questionable at best, but I'm walking to ice cream right now, and I have my Crocs on because my boots are uncomfortable. Um, and I really wanted to wear my Crocs, so. Okay, I just left the ice cream place. I got pumpkin and cookie dough. And my favorite life hack of all time is to get a cup, get two scoops or one, either way, and then have a cone on top, because then you can fill the cone, and then it's like you have two ice creams. Either way, it was super good. And the line, there was like a good amount of line. And it's like, it's like 8.30 on a fucking Monday night. So th this place must be pretty popular, which is good. I'm glad I picked it. It's really yummy. Perfect little way to end my day. Now I have a two hour drive ahead of me, so. Okay, hello everyone. Three important updates. One, I'm in Minnesota now. Two, I hit 2000 miles a little way back and forgot to share. Three, I am now going to a place that is like 35 minutes away and it's loves truck stops and I've seen them all over but I haven't really checked them out yet but you can park overnight there and it's it's for RVs, campers, whatever, uh, semis, anything just so that they can park overnight and I hadn't tried one yet because there's been plenty of Cracker Barrels but the Cracker Barrel that I was going to go to tonight is two hours away and it's a little off route and I was going to make that sacrifice. People have gone to I-90 West toward Albert Theater. Gotcha. Um, because I just love me a good Cracker Barrel. But, you know what? I'm sending it. I'm trying new things. We're going to go to Love's tonight. So hopefully that goes well. I'm pretty psyched and a little nervous. And obviously if I don't feel well, I'll just go to the Cracker Barrel. It's not a big deal. But we're going to give it a go. So 